Anyways, um, last thing for the Sideshow. Sideshow distributes uh, mind, Mind's Eye um, selection of uh, God, of, God, God of War, Jesus Christ, Gears of War statues, right? And um, they, uh, I think two or three weeks ago, they put up um, some San Diego Comic Con exclusives for pre-order. And it's some blue looking statues and then the red bomber. And it's just like, they got so many colors already. It's like, we don't give a crap about colors, people. My nice. Mine's eye, whatever you call it. We want fully, nicely painted, like in the game, Marcus Phoenix and Adon and, you know, the Locust and all that crap. We don't want the rainbow in those statues. I mean, don't get me wrong. Your bronze was awesome and the platinum ones were pretty cool. But that's it. You keep, you know, pumping out red, blue, yellow. You know, I'm going to have the whole rainbow in those, in those statues. All we want is just like in the game. I'm sure they're gonna look kick ass. The sculpts are awesome. Paint him up. Paint him up. That's all I got to say. Just paint him up. Damn. <laughs> Woo. Anyways, 3A. Yeah, I see wood and 3C real. That's what I'm talking about. Um, we got a heavy Tomorrow King shot. You know, the classic 3A shot is all blurry. You don't see crap, but you can see kind of something. That's what we got there. It's gonna go on pre order, I think, next week or this week. This week? Yeah, this week. Actually, this week. We don't know yet when, but he said this week, so pure awesomeness. Um, there's a blur, another blurry robot pick, and we think it's a drop cloth. I'm not sure if it's been um, said that it's a drop cloth, but everybody thinks it's a drop cloth. It's another robot that he's making, so that looks like it is. What the hell was that? And um, there was a, a Sombot charity auction. Sombot is... Um, a chase variant for um, the boil boiler zombie from um, from 3A and his adventure cartel. That's the adventure cartel is a completely different line from you know World Robot Papa and all that crap. It's his own entity. And um, boiler zombie is the first zombie um, to be released there. And somebody is a chase figure. There's only like ten figures. He says on the block. So uh, they were. Um, auctioning one for charity at his website there was no ebay no nothing you was just email the um the amount you were gonna bid and that was it so we don't know the charity yet anyways but uh, the bid ended in three thousand seven hundred and four dollars so um hopefully that money is gonna go to awesome to an awesome charity thank you thanks to the awesomeness of 3a ashley wood and kim but um pretty cool the figure is probably the stupidest figure i've ever seen but it's just funny as hell it's just funny um, but it's his own character, which is the, 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 what's probably gonna piss some people off, because it's his own character, so, you know, if you don't have that figure in the Boiler Zombie, and completists, completists are not gonna have, you know, the entire adventure cartel, you see what I'm saying? So, uh, but who gives a crap? Um, Boiler Zombie is shipping already, people are getting them, I just saw at the forums, 3A forums, people posting pictures of the X 3A exclusive, and the normal one. So, um, if you order it, Papo, you either have it, or it's coming your way. The uh, Bambas, um, when um, the 3A um, website, 3A Online, launched a couple of weeks ago, and um, in celebration of it, um, 3A released a Black Bamba and a Glow in the Dark Bamba. Um, they were basically so price release and nobody even know they were gonna be released he just hinted them in the form we went to the Bambaland store bam they were there oh my god la, la, la. they were around we don't know the exact amount but um he the he put 50 um bambas first for the black one and then he had supposedly uh, um more for the next day but he ended up putting them all with that date so we think there's around 70 of um of the black bamba and the uh, glow in the dark bamba not that numbers are important but just giving you an idea of how limited the uh, figure is. And uh, looking pretty cool. I ordered them, so I'm expecting them any day now. Because they're, like I said, they're cheaping already. So I can't wait to do a review on them. And um, what else? What else? Oh, he hinted that they're, they're, that he's making a new Les Mort. If you remember his Les Mort from um, the first one he did with, uh, I, I forgot whoever the company was. It was on a Medicom body. That's alright. The Medicom body sucks though. And uh, now we're going to get one from 3A, eventually, a future-looking um, um, Les Mort. I'm not sure, you know, how futuristic, I doubt it's not going to be that futuristic, but, you know, 
in the timeline of his story. It'll be a little bit in the future. You see what I'm saying? So awesomeness. Uh, World War Robot Portable. We got the uh, the birdie. Um, what do you call it? Prototype. Finally up. So you can see that um, that those colors. It's all. It's a prototype. So it's not the final product you're gonna get. It's a prototype. It looks cool though. And um, what else? DIY DIY the plume, which is a do-it-yourself. DIY. I wrote it wrong. <laughs> I'm a retard. I wrote DIY. Do it. I know. I wrote I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Okay, the, the, the do it yourself diploma, which is the last diploma he's ever gonna release, at least by itself. There's some, there's been talk about like a fifth anniversary, you know, set of three diplomas, blah blah blah. But in reality, apparently, this is the last diploma. It's a completely white one, it's, you know, do it yourself. So it's pretty cool. Um, they're not gonna be sold, they're gonna be gifted, they're gonna be, you know, um, one, but not sold. So that's pretty cool. Um, awesomeness, um, but uh, you know, in 3 A's part, the desert desert attack Lars Martin. There's only a hundred of them, and he's only gonna sell 90 at the Bambalan store. And um, they go on pre-order the 24th at 7 p.m. my time, which is Eastern time. So if you're uh, gonna pre-order it, make sure you're there, because there's only gonna be 90 on sale. And um, what I'm showing you right now is the uh, a decal, decal. I said that right, yeah. For for the actual for the figure, so uh, I like that skull has six 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 on the top and everything. So it's looking pretty kick ass. I'm sure the uh, weathering on the freaking robot's what's gonna look amazing. Um, can't pre-order it because I don't have any money. Woo! But good luck to anybody who's going to. You guys rock. And uh, last but not least, um, stuff that has been said you know a while ago, a few months ago, but I wanna reiterate is 3A has um, um, a lot of collaborations going on. You know, Kenny's work, Pure Awesomeness, and all that stuff. But there's three of them that got me real pumped. Uh, once with Kojima, obviously Metal Gear Solid. That's right, bitches, Metal Gear Solid. We're finally going to get Metal Gear Solid action figures. You see what I'm saying? Not this Medicum, Metal Gear Solid 3 action figures or 4. We're going to get Metal Gear Solid action figures. We have never gotten Metal Gear Solid action figures. When I'm, when I'm saying like that, I'm not stupid. I know McFarlane released, you know, 7-inch. I'm talking about 12-inch pure awesomeness, fully articulated action figures. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe Metal Gear Rex. See what I'm talking about? Pure awesomeness, bitch. Just pure freaking awesomeness. So I'm really pumped about that. I'm pumped that he has um, a collaboration with McFarlane. Finally, again, another, it's just gonna be, I'm sure it's gonna be pure awesomeness what's gonna come out of this line. Cause, if you've seen, I think the only full articulated 12 inch figure of uh, Spawn that I've seen is the one from uh, Medicom. And it's cool, it's just too bright, you know, blah blah blah, and it's, it's weird looking. Don't mind you, I want it. If I could get my hands on it, I would have it. But, I haven't. But, um, you know, I mean, if you've seen... 3 A's crap, you know, these figures are gonna be awesome. And I say figures, not just one figure like Medicom, I'm saying figures. So I can't wait for that. And then, you know, of course, Course. They're, uh, they're collaborating with Course. Um, course is, uh, is a vinyl company. Not everybody knows it because, um, you know, they're not that big or whatever. But they got some awesome vinyl and um, their designs kick ass and I love them. I don't own anything because I've missed everything. Even the paws, they have some paws. And I should put pictures up there. Hopefully you're looking at some pictures. Right? But uh, anyways, uh, you can see the uh, the teaser picture from the, the collaboration. It looks awesome. So I can't wait to see what they come up with. And I'm going to be badass. Anyways, Rocket World. They released, finally, um, their IWG Fast Packs. Their mini Fast Packs. And I'm glad I have them here because... Um, I can actually show you. Um, these are the fast packs right here. I actually reviewed them, so if you want to go and check it out at ptvision.com, go and review them. And uh, they kick ass. They're 17 bucks, and um, they rock. They work with one six figures, like I showed in my video. And um, I got this thanks to um, Patrick and Jason from Rocket World. Those guys rock. They sent me this, so I was able to review them. And um, they rock, so uh, you know they got it in that green and in this black. I know you probably can't see it that well. That's why you know just go and hit the uh, the uh, review, and you can actually see them there. Pretty awesome. So uh, that's right. That's what's cracking like with Rocker World. 